Hello everybody. This is an astrological forecast for Scorpio for June of 2012. And this also applies if you have a Scorpio ascendant. So my dear Scorpios, the big news this month is that Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, abundance, prosperity, wealth, opportunity, changes sign. On June the 12th, it moves into Gemini, into your eighth house, where it stays until June 25th of 2013. So it's there a whole year and it's in the natural Scorpio house. So what does this mean for you? Well, what it could mean is it could mean a windfall. It could mean a big inheritance. Could mean somebody gives you a large sum of money. Could mean that your partner or your spouse makes a lot of extra money or gets a promotion. Could mean an insurance payout. Could mean that you somebody invests in you, either invests in your business or invests in an idea that you've got for making money. So a lot of opportunities financially, particularly from other people coming to you this month and also this year. What you have to watch out for is that other people, because Jupiter tends to do things over the top, doesn't know when to stop in its exuberance. So you have to watch out that people aren't spending your money, aren't recklessly going out and using your resources. That could equally apply to your spouse or your partner. Maybe they're just spending things wastefully and not making best use of resources. So you're going to have to watch out that your money just doesn't disappear on you as well. It's a wonderful opportunity for studying anything connected with death and dying. Why we're here. And of course, Scorpios, your sign rules anything connected with birth and death and serious events. The most serious events in a person's life. Time and what we experience and what this means. Because Jupiter in Gemini, um, Gemini always wants to stay youthful and young. So I think we're going to see a proliferation of products and ideas and scientific breakthroughs connected with anti-aging. So you may find yourself wanting to get involved with this whole um, scenario, maybe selling products or inventing products or getting involved in the science of it, learning about it, writing about it, speaking about it. Whatever it is, this will be a wonderful thing for you to study or learn about and make money from, potentially during this next year with Jupiter in this eighth house. Be a wonderful time as well for you to develop your understanding of metaphysics, for those of you that are interested in astrology, all the mystical arts. It's be a wonderful time for studying it, for learning it, and for going deeper than you've ever gone before, for developing that psychic side of you, the intuition in ways that you haven't been able to do before. You'll find that you'll be able to go deeper for those of you that really hunger and want that. Now back to this month, we've got Venus still retrograde until the 27th, goes direct on the 27th of the month. And Venus is in your eighth house as well. It's all going on in this eighth house. So um, this will be a good time to renegotiate a deal, anything financial, anything with an insurance company or a bank or the tax man or your accountant or your lawyer. Good time to close something, to finish up something, but not a good time to start something. So it's going to be a big focus this month on your financial situation and planning for this year to come. We've got as well um, Sun Mercury in your uh, ninth house towards the end of the month. So good time for planning a trip, for traveling somewhere, for doing anything international, for connecting up with people abroad um, in, in one way or another. Mars is in your 11th house all month, so good time for making connections in your community with your neighbours, the people around you, um, also for connecting up with organisations where you can share common interests. Um, for you Scorpios, um, the last week in the month we've got Pluto, your ruler opposite the sun, from the third to the ninth houses could mean that some machinery breaks down, your car or a computer or something like that, but also an intense encounter with somebody that could actually change your life, could really turn the way you see your life round on a dime. So it could be very powerful this last week of the month. Be ready to be aware of manipulation, of betrayal, of control, but also the possibility for something to come out of this where you may need to let go of somebody or something serious 
but for something new to be able to come out of it. As, as we know, your sign is about the phoenix rising out of the ashes. And this is very well what could happen towards the end of this month for you, Scorpios. Possible sense of isolation in a little way comes on and off for you. I think you feel as though you're doing everything on your own a little bit. Um, try to reach out to others. Uh, don't be too self-sufficient. Allow other people to help you as well. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you to those of you who rate my videos, who comment. And thank you just for being there and for watching. I wish you a great month. Bye for now.